Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today we're going to make some beautiful gyozas. In a previous episode, I made them with mushroom and tea, but today we're going to make them with braised oxtail and some kumpat. Once we've made those, we're going to serve it with an oxtail broth, a caramelized shallot cream, and a beautiful barbecued kumquat gel. So if you haven't done already, please subscribe to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. First, let's start by brining the oxtail. Pour two liters of water into a big pot and add 100 grams of nitrate salt. Then mix this well till all the salt is dissolved. Now add two kilograms of oxtail. Make sure it's completely submerged with the water and then let it brine for 24 hours in your fridge. After that, remove the oxtail from the water and let it air dry for 30 minutes. Then heat up a big pan, add a splash of oil and fry the oxtail golden brown on all sides. It's okay if it doesn't fit all at once. Just repeat this process then. Meanwhile, clean three big shallots and chop them. Then once all the oxtail is fried, remove it from the pan and start caramelizing the shallots till golden. Once golden, deglaze the pan with half a liter of jus de veau or demi glace. Then add the oxtail and submerge it with beef stock. Now also add one spring of rosemary, two springs of oregano, two springs of sage, four springs of thyme and six cloves of garlic that are cut in half. Then bring this to a boil, put a lid on top and cook it in an oven of 85 degrees celsius for 12 hours. You can also do this sous vide. While that's cooking, we're going to make the kumquat gel. For that, turn on your barbecue and let 300 grams of kumquat caramelize on a metal tray for around 5 minutes. Then let them cool down for a couple of minutes and remove the stem. Once that's done, cut them in half and gently remove the seeds. Now transfer them into a blender and also add 150 grams of water and 50 grams of sugar. Blend this till smooth. Then press it through a fine sieve using a ladle. This so you don't waste a single drop of the kumquat. After that, add 5 grams of agar powder and give it a good mix. Then while mixing, bring it to a boil for one minute. Now pour it into a bowl and let it cool down completely in your fridge. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, check for seasoning. For me, it needed a touch of salt. Now blend it once more and then you can keep it in your fridge for later. I'm trying not to use any more plastic piping bags but only reusable piping bottles. Now while the barbecue is still on and hot, I also smoked some salt. Just pour some on a tray, put it on the barbecue and let it sit for a couple of hours till the barbecue is cold. It's going to give the salt a really nice toasted aroma and that's perfect for the dish that I'm making today. Now let's continue with the oxtail. When still hot, transfer the oxtail on the plateau and start separating the meat from the fat, bones and membranes. You can keep the small bits of fat for flavor, but the big chunks I do remove. Once that's done, put the cooking liquid through a fine sieve and reduce this to half on a low simmer. While it's reducing, scoop off all the fat with a ladle. Then put it through a fine sieve laid with a kitchen paper to clarify it completely. Now bring it to a boil and season it with a rich balsamic vinegar. Check for seasoning once more. Then transfer the oxtail meat into a saucepan and season it with some of the broth. Now heat it up on a medium heat. Then also add a tablespoon of the kumquat gel to give it a fresh note. Mix it well and then let it cool down out of the fridge. Now for the caramelized shallot cream. 
First, cut 600 grams of shallots in half and clean them. Now chop them. Then heat up a big frying pan, add a splash of oil and caramelize the shallots on a medium heat with a generous amount of salt. Once the shallots are nice and golden, deglaze the pan with 40 grams of sherry vinegar. This will increase the depth of flavor. Then add 300 grams of beef stock and gently reduce the liquid till almost everything has vaporized. After that, transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, check for seasoning and when necessary, season with some salt and the same balsamic vinegar that we've just used. Now transfer it into a bowl and keep it covered in your fridge for later. Now take a kumquat and cut it with a sharp knife into super thin slices. Then put a piece of blanched chive on your worktop and put some winter purslane on top. Knot this together and wrap the chives around it. Then trim the bottom and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the gyoza dough. Pour 250 grams of flour onto your worktop and use a bowl to make a well in the middle. Fill it with 140 grams of lukewarm water and 2 grams of salt. Gently mix this and then knead it into a nice dough. Now wrap it tight and let it rest in your fridge for at least 30 minutes. After that cover your worktop with rice flour and divide the dough into small pieces of 15 grams. Now roll the dough into small balls and then use a rolling pin to flatten it out. Once it's done, tidy up the edges with a round cutter. Then use a brush or your finger to add a thin layer of water. Now put the oxtail filling in the middle. Then press the middle together and gently fold it in four times to the outside on both sides. Give the edges a good press. Now transfer them onto a tray and keep them covered in your fridge for later. Then we can start to finish the dish. First, heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and fry the gyozas on the flat side till golden. Then turn them 90 degrees and add a splash of vegetable broth or water. Directly put a lid on top and let it steam for one minute. Then remove them from the pan. Put two gyozas in the middle of a plate and pipe a big dot of the hot shallot cream on the side. Then pipe two smaller dots of the kumquat gel on there as well. Now decorate it with the kumquat slices and the winter purslane. And then finally finish it off with the hot oxtail broth. Okay guys, that's it for today. I must say I'm dying to try this. I have been tasting all the components separate from each other, but um, this is the first time I'm actually tasting it together. Um, yeah, so let's just dig in. Um, I think it's gonna be really a lot of umami, the, the freshness of the kumquat. I think it's gonna be great. And especially the oxtail broth, that's always an oxtail broth. Yeah, it's always great. So. Yeah, that's so good. The, yeah, like I said, the broth, it's really, really delicious. It's a little bit um, filmy because it sticks on your tongue because of the amount of gelatin in the broth, which is really good because then it sticks in your mouth and then um, you, you get to taste it even more because when the sauce is runny, um, and you swallow it quite fast or it gets out of your mouth quite fast and right now it's, it's a little bit sticky so you get to enjoy it uh, a lot more. The gyoza is great, it's crispy on one side um, and it's uh, soft and chewy on the other side so that's really really nice. 
The filling is great. The freshness of the kumquat with the barbecued flavor brings it to a whole nother level. Um, and the shallot cream, yeah, it's just there for balance, but the dish really needs it. So I'm really pleased with the result. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like, share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. I'm gonna eat this whole, I'm gonna eat the, all the other gyozas as well. So I'm a happy man for today and I wish you a great day as well. So, bon appétit.